Welcome back. Well, it's Friday. Markets are cheering and we do have a lot of uh, movies which are set to be released and are released as well. Last one month has been really good for the cinema business. In fact, this bumper opening for SRK star Jawan as the movie has collected 75 crore rupees on day one as well. In fact, Lara Kapil in a recent note stated Hindi film box office has finally started to see respite with multiple large budget films performing well. To discuss this and more, we are joined by Kamal Jayan Chandani, who is the President, Multiplex Association of India. Joining us now to make sense of what kind of collections and what kind of demand are we seeing here. Kamal, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, last one month has been really good for the cinema business. As I was mentioning, we had Barbie, then Oppenheimer, Gadar, OMG2. Uh, what is the collection looking like for Jawan? Uh, what has been the trend in last two days? You know, for Jawan, uh, the collection is the number that you mentioned uh, seems to be the correct number. Although the distributor of the film, Red Chilies, the producer would be in a better position to give you the exact number. But we believe uh, 75 crore, including Tamil and Telugu dub, uh, Hindi originally included, is the net box office number for day one. Uh, and if you just look at the Hindi original uh, net collection, that's about 64, 65 crore, which makes uh, Jawan the highest collecting film of all time on day one. Uh, you mentioned about uh, last one month being, uh, you know, quite buoyant with Hindi films, but I would say we could see the signals coming from March and April uh, with mm. films like Juti Mai Makkar, Mrs. Chatterjee, and even in Hollywood with John Wick, Fast mm. Fury series, mm. Mission Impossible, uh, we could see the signals that people were now ready to come back to theatres. Uh, mm. But June and July is when the eruption took place. Jara Hatke, Jara Bachke turned out to be a sleeper hit. Then, of course, uh, Kerala story did fairly well at the box office. Uh, <coughs> Rocky Rani, which, uh, mm. you know, which was Karan Johar's uh, a uh, directed mm. film after a gap of almost seven, eight years. That did really uh, well at the box office. But I think what really turned the tide in two cents was Gadar 2, uh, because no one expected the kind of business it's uh, done and it continues mm. to play in theatres. Gadar really turned the tide. And of course, with OMG 2, Dream Girl, all of these films performing, uh, it's been a slow sure. fit for the last two, two and a half months. Okay, uh, Kamal, just speaking specifically about Jawan, uh, you know, Pathan, which is Shah Rukh's previous movie, did around 530-odd crores or 540-odd crores. Based on what you are seeing, because the first eight collections are close to around 140-odd crores, do you think that it could easily surpass those figures of that previous collection? And if so, by how much? Uh, the trade pundits are, uh, you know, suggesting that Jawan could create a new category, which would be the 600 crore slab, uh, which is till date not been achieved by any other Hindi film. Uh, but look, we are not experts mm. uh, at this, and we'll have to wait and see what happens over the next two, three days. Uh, and then thereafter, how the film plays out uh, on the weekdays will determine whether film has the legs to reach 500, 30, 40 crore, which Pathan did. Uh, mm. My fingers are crossed. I've seen the film and the word of mouth, the reviews. Uh, there is not a single shred of negativity around the film. So my fingers are crossed and I think there is a high likelihood that this film could be the one which breaks Pathan's record. Oh, wow. Okay. Those wow. are some staggering numbers, right, <laughs> Kamal? Uh, I also want to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming events. There's the World Cup that begins in October and uh, there is this fear that that could perhaps impact occupancies. You think that's a legitimate fear? And do you think the OTT threat is now behind us? Well, firstly, the OTT threat is clearly behind us because the producers have taken a conscious call to release in theatres first, which is the correct model. And it's, mm. uh, you know, it, it's, it, it's a system that works well, not just for theatres and producers, but it also works well for the streaming platforms. Uh, so I think the OTT threat is definitely fully behind us. As far as World Cup being a legitimate threat, yes. I mean, any uh, event, and especially when it's cricket, which is, uh, you know, extremely popular in our country, uh, is definitely a threat to business. But I think we take a lot of uh, 
confidence in the fact that producers are not shying away from releasing their films. Uh, mm -hmm. The issue that we faced in April and May while the IPL was on was that the producers were shying away from releasing their films. But in this case, October, November, mm -hmm. the entire two months, mm -hmm. we've got back-to-back -back films and all with uh, either decent star cast or, you know, big star cast. Right. So I personally okay. think uh, World Cup, cricket, and films will coexist and there will be audience for both. Bollywood and cricket, right? Two things Indians uh, like the most, Kamal. But tell us about ad revenues. How have they been or are they coming back to pre-COVID levels? Have you seen an uh, increase in ad rates? Well, I would not be able to comment on that. I think we'll have to wait till the end of the quarter. But mm. I would say that uh, all I would say is that there is a lot of positivity buoyancy around the market and that includes the advertising market as well. Okay. Uh, well, you know, Kamal, obviously multiplexes were the hardest hit uh, by the pandemic. Have we recovered to the pre-pandemic levels? Are we better or are we similar? Where exactly do we stand and how much do you think it can probably improve by the end of this year? Well, depends on what period you're looking at. So, if I mean, clearly the last two and a half years have been the toughest phase that uh, cinema exhibition sector has seen uh, mm -hmm. in, in the history of uh, film business in this country. Uh, but if you look at the last, I would say, three or four months, uh, we are tracking better than pre-COVID numbers. And I think if you also factor in the films which are lined up for release in the next three to six months i think this year could surprise a lot of people i i don't want to sort of uh, put out a number uh, but i think a lot of people would be surprised by the uh, the admissions that we clock at the end of this financial year okay all right kamal we leave it at that thanks a lot for joining in and uh, telling us about the you know the theater business the cinema business which has come back in a huge way right it's blowing up as we speak expected to be a bumper weekend for jawan as well and i'm sure all the stakeholders in the industry are uh, expected to thrive on that front it's been long coming so thanks a lot for joining in thanks Lee. thanks for having me all right uh, let's slip into a quick break on the other side of the break we'll put the focus on the psu banking sector in our special segment fin street stay tuned